The Haitians have this creative spirit and they share it. They, 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 they share it through what they do. If I can transform that bottle into a product that could be attractive to a foreigner, I'll have some dollars. So I, I know that eventually, um, if we don't fight for this sector, what's going to happen, they will become operators of machines. And that's why, that's why what Caribbean Craft steps in and he said, no, we're going to reclaim this position because it's a tradition and because it's worth it. We have lost the facility that we were using before on, after the, on the earthquake on January 12th, and we had to relocate our operation. We decided to start production again on February 2nd, and they were all without a house. We were providing them with water and we decided it's time for us to take the feeding program on. We feed everybody every day and that's the reason why we build the cafeteria that we're going to be seeing and with something that we just want to take off their back where they can focus on investing all their income in other, other places. Thanks to the Clinton Foundation we were invited to a meeting in New York where we have met lots of interested people who wanted to do business with us. And that's how we started welcoming more and more buyers. That's how we were part of the Macy's project. That's how, how we became involved with uh, many people and even with Donna Karen. This is, for example, a piece that's about to be finished for anthropology. They carry this line, the giraffe and the zebra and the rhino. Even though we had the worst year ever in terms of logistics and all kind of constraints, we have already exported for, uh, for more than we did the entire year last year, where we didn't have the earthquake. This is all thanks to the Clinton Foundation. They are great in doing this network. This has been stronger after I was invited to the CGI. So I strongly believe that between these meetings, a lot of great outcomes are coming, and Haiti is getting a lot of attention. And um, they, all of the buyers are interested in selling what's made in Haiti. Everybody has help on January 12th in assistance now they want to be they want to be part of the rebuild and everybody wants to contribute and contributing by creating jobs so i think this company has a bright future it's just a hard time that we go through